Let's talk about the new trailer for Maestro. This is a movie that's featuring Bradley Cooper as Leonard Bernstein. If you don't know who Leonard Bernstein is, he's a, one of the most famous classical music figures in the 20th century. He was a composer, he was a conductor, and he was an educator, most importantly. I thought it was fascinating to know that they were making a movie about Leonard Bernstein because, of course, why not? He was such a monumental figure in the world of classical music in the 20th century. He is known for conducting at Tanglewood. He was known for being uh, the music director of the New York Phil, uh, the Viner Philharmoniker. Like he was known for these big, uh, well-known positions and also just for his genius musical mind. And I think who better to play this character than Bradley Cooper. And from what I heard is that Bradley Cooper actually learned how to conduct. Now granted, it's a little easier to learn uh, how to act to conduct versus learning how to act and maybe play a string instrument. And by the looks of it, it seems like he's getting the style of Bernstein's conducting. I can see that they really wanted to get this movie right and they wanted to do right by Leonard Bernstein. You can see that there's a lot of similarities between the famous documentaries and what the film is depicting. And also, whoever's doing uh, makeup for this for this movie, uh, showing like in the trailer the beginning stages of Bernstein's career when he was young and then as he uh, got older, he, they got the hair right, they got the makeup right, so really awesome job. But let's dive into the trailer. What are some things that stuck out to me? First off, you see this beautiful landscape in the beginning of the trailer. And if you don't know where that is, Bernstein was known for conducting at the Tanglewood uh, festival which is located in the Berkshires in Western Massachusetts and I for one have visited Tanglewood I know my colleagues have participated in the festival over there and it is one of the most amazing places to experience classical music and Bernstein happened to be one of the conductors over there what I find to be really interesting is that they have black and white uh, film versus the color film as his career progressed because that's when the color uh, and, t and television kind of that kind of evolved. So I thought it was really great to kind of see Bernstein in the image of black and white and then go into color like that was famous in the documentaries. And then you see many scenes with his love interests and then you see uh, many scenes with him conducting and I find that to be probably one of the most interesting elements about this movie is because there's going to be a lot of him conducting, I can assume, because he's a conductor. And it's going to be probably talking about his progression in his life with how he became the man and the conductor who he was back then. To me, I have a personal connection with Bernstein's music. I like listening to his music. I've performed his music. I've performed like the Cotter Symphony, which is not a really popular symphony, but I performed that back when I was an undergrad. I've also performed his uh, second symphony which uh, features piano solo in like in the middle of the symphony which I think to be a very fascinating way to incorporate piano into a symphony and it's kind of like a pian like it's kind of like a mini piano concerto if you never heard that piece it's really fascinating and if it's kind of like the orchestra is playing for for a long period of time and then you have this really jazzy groovy piano part playing in. I remember playing that in my grad studies and I thought that to be really, really interesting. But generally, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between Bradley Cooper's acting and Bernstein's actual conducting. I think just the little glimpses that I'm getting, it's going to be an instant classic. For one, I'm like a classical music nerd and I just love seeing uh, classical music movies being depicted well and really going the extra mile and doing the extra research and the extra effort to learn each character's mannerisms, each like the movements and really to act out those movements. And I think Bradley Cooper, uh, hopefully will, he'll do a great job depicting Leonard Bernstein in the movie. So if you have seen the trailer, what do you think of it? Leave a comment down below. Let's get this conversation going. And if you have not seen the trailer, I'm gonna leave a link down in the comment section below. I also did a first impressions video of Leonard Bernstein's makeup a little while ago when they were producing the movie and they were filming. I'm going to leave that link right over here for you to take a look at.